The victim's grandson is being held here at the Montgomery County Jail. While formal charges are still pending, the victim's friend tells me she's in shock about the murder. I was really upset about it, uh, and I'm going to miss my friend. I really am. Jean Rucker has been friends with 69-year-old Regina Davis for more than 30 years. She calls me twice a day, and I see her every day. When she didn't hear from Davis Monday, she went to her house on Natalie Court to make sure everything was okay. Something was wrong because when I looked in there, there was dog poop all over the floor. You can go to her house and you don't even know that she has a dog because there's no smell there. And when I saw this, I said, these dogs haven't been out all day. Something is wrong. That's when she called police. They found the back door uh, unlocked after trying to make contact, went in and found uh, the deceased in a bathtub. Police say Davis was strangled to death. The Montgomery County Prosecutor's Office says 21-year-old Dylan Harrison is behind bars for murder but awaiting formal charges. Neighbors tell me he is the victim's grandson and had been living with her. Harrison's defense attorney says there was an argument and fight before Davis was killed. We believe that a party other than uh, the accused uh, had a knife in their possession. And we believe that that knife was uh, brandished uh, in a certain fashion and uh, in a threatening manner uh, in this altercation. Friends say Davis was only four foot eleven, but she was a feisty woman who they called the sheriff of the neighborhood. And if it was any suspected drug houses, you could rest for sure she watched them and then call the drug enforcement. And she has busted up quite a few drug houses here. And so uh, she was good for the neighborhood, and I don't know what the neighborhood's going to do without her. And now they want justice for her death. She was a very, very, very uh, nice person, and she, does, she didn't deserve this. She did. The Montgomery County Prosecutor's Office will present its case tomorrow morning. Trotwood police tell me they plan to hold a press conference about the murder tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live in Dayton, Jackie Sprague, 2